Hey YouTubers, it's Anthony here from Eagles Luck. Um, I recently bought a Mac, and I used to be a PC, and I'm getting used to the Mac, but now I wanted to actually sync my iPod Touch to the Mac as opposed to my Toshiba laptop. So, I when whenever I'm in a bind, I always go to YouTube and I type in uh, transfer whatever my problem is. My problem was transferring my iTunes library from my PC to my Mac. And I was watching these YouTube videos and they go into so much just to transfer all the music over. And you have to work with directories, you have to make sure all the directories are right, and if, one, if it's one letter off, it won't find your music. And it took me like two hours to finally figure it out. And I didn't do it any of the ways that the YouTube videos showed me how to do it. Um, so I found a new way that I think is a lot better, and I'm going to share that with you. The only thing is, you actually need um, two to three CDs, uh, and you have to be able to burn them in your computer. Okay, what I'm going to do is show you how, so I'm just going to open up iTunes. So like I said, you need uh, two to three CDs or DVDs. I use DVDs, so those are bigger than they hold more than CDs. So Now, keep in mind, my iTunes library isn't that big. It's only 1,300 songs. And that used like one and a half uh, uh, DVDs. So if you have a lot more songs and a lot more space, and a lot more room, then it's going to use more CDs naturally. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to move the songs over to my PC. from Move them over to my Mac from my PC. Now, keep in mind that this is going to take all the songs that you currently have, all the ratings that you have with it, all of your um, playlists, all of your, um, if you have a genius, it has all of your genius files, your music files, your podcast, your TV shows, your music. This is basically going to create another copy of your iTunes on your new computer. But now if you do have files on your new computer, it's going to kind of, it's going to erase those files and replace it with this. So I uh, recommend that you merge the two um, iTunes before you transfer it. Okay, so now let's uh, do this. So this can be the same thing as if it was on a PC or if it's on a Mac. You go up to the File menu, you're going to go to Library, and you're going to do Backup to Disk. Other videos on YouTube show you tell you to do Export Library, and then Exports in an Excel something or other file. And then you have to uh, tell it where you're going to put the files and how you, it's just a lot of hassle that you don't need to do. So you just go to back up to disk and then you're going to back up the entire iTunes library and playlist. And then uh, you have to select your, your uh, super drive or CD-ROM drive and then preferred speed maximum. Then just click next. And then you have to insert a disk which I'm not going to do it right now because I already did it and it'll back up your entire iTunes library. So then when that's done, you're going to go to your new computer and you have to have iTunes installed on that computer, which most Macs come with it installed when I tra transferred from PC to a Mac, but you can also do this from Mac to a Mac and from a PC to a PC. It makes no difference. So then you come over to the file menu, um, where you have to have the iTunes highlighted. Come over to the uh, file menu, go library, and then you're going to go import playlist. Also, when you in, put the CD in, it might automatically bring up iTunes and say, would you like to restore to this point? And if that does that, click yes, and then it'll just do all your uh, CDs, and it'll be perfect. Then you'll have your entire iTunes library right there in front of you from one computer to the other. And all you have to do is sync your new iPod, and you're done. Thank you for watching. This is another uh, tutorial video from Eagles Luck. This is Anthony, and saying catch you later. Um, please subscribe. There's going to be a lot more tutorials coming up. And that's it. Thanks.